Today we're going to look at the dot and quarter metric modulation. Now, by metric modulation I mean the illusion, the creating of an illusion that you're changing tempo while in fact you're staying in the original tempo. And today's illusion is the dot and quarter note. Let me explain. We're going to have our original tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've tapped my foot here on the half notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to play the dot and quarter notes against that. Let's have a listen. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Now, these seem like two different tempos going on, and I'm going to reinforce that illusion by changing this count to new 4-4s. Four in other words, making the dotted quarter notes into groups of 4, so it sounds like a new 4-4. Four four. Let's have a listen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 1. Notice how after three bars, they line up together. Now, that's great, but that causes another set of problems because of the harmony and the music generally resolve in two and four bar or eight bar phrases. So that means the rhythmic resolve is often in a different place than the harmonic resolve. So, you know, you're going to have to try and hear the original tempo or the original chords going by while you're playing this new tempo or the illusion of a new tempo. To demo this, I'm going to move to the kit and use my trusty friend, Meet the Bass Player, which is a great play-along device that I've used before. I'm going to play Rhythm Changes. Tempo's bright, 260 BPM. The reason it's bright is because the metric modulation makes it seem like the tempo is slowing down. Anyway, I'm going to play the original tempo and move to the modulation and, you know, move back and forth between the tempo so you can really hear the push and pull of this. It causes a nice dynamic, a nice tension in there. The original masters of this, of course, was Miles' quintet back in the 60s, which Tony Williams and Ron Carter, Herbie Hancock, they use this device a lot. I mean, the way I'm doing it now is very artificial, but it's a really good practice exercise because one of the problems we have as drummers is that we get into rhythmic turnarounds or little rhythmic phrases that we can't get out of because we've lost our place to the original. So these metric modulation, while not very realistic, in the way I'm presenting them, as in a playing situation, are very good practice devices to, pr to prepare you for when the real thing happens on the gig. Anyway, I'm going to move to the kit and demonstrate metric modulation down quarters. <laughs> 